Welcome back to Reading the Word and Understanding the Bible Verse. Today we're in Acts chapter 27 and chapter 28. And in 27, it says, Paul sails to Rome. So Paul is a, prison, is a prisoner on his ship. And he's sailing off to Italy to go to Rome. And as they're sailing off, off of Italy, this violent storm called the Northeastern Wind comes and it doesn't allow the ship to go north because it's the Northeastern. So it's fighting the ship to, to travel that direction where they have to go. So they can't go to Rome yet. And um, it just keeps on fighting with them and fighting with them. And Paul, being a follower of Jesus Christ, an angel of the Lord comes to Paul and says, Do not be afraid. Again, he's, he's telling Paul, Do not be afraid. No one is going to die on the ship. And they were like, What? It's, the, it's violent. It's windy. They, they're tossing out their cargo on, 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 in the ocean because they know that the ship can't survive. They go, If we don't toss the cargo, it's going to sink. So they're throwing the cargo away. And when they said that, Paul says, don't worry, Every, we're all going to be alive. But we're going to go through a hard trouble. Now he, now Paul told them that the, when the angel of the Lord told him, he said to go to, uh, don't, go, don't go sailing towards the wind. He goes, we have to go to the land. And... The captain of the ship did not listen to him. They said, nah, he don't know what he's talking about. He's just a prisoner. So this violent storm came. And 14 nights, they're battling the northeastern wind. They're battling this wind. And finally, they can't take it anymore. So finally, what happens is, they just let the ship go where it needs to go. Follow the wind. Because they can't fight it anymore. They fight it. For 14 nights, they're crossing it. So, they're traveling. And 260, 276 men were on board of the ship. Some of them were prisoners, some of them were guards. And so, they were like, okay, you know. So, Paul prays and asks God... You know, how are we going to survive? Because there's not that much food left. They're tossing everything on board. And he gives thanks to God. And he gives thanks. He starts eating bread. He gives thanks. He starts eating bread. And everybody else has the encouragement to eat the same bread that Paul's passing out. Which I think is really awesome and really cool. Because it shows the encourage that Paul has in following Jesus Christ. Knowing that he knows that everything's going to be okay. And that everybody now is eating to get strength. And his encouragement, the encouragement is in Paul now. They understand that, okay, Paul is, Paul is the one that's helping us. They understand, you know, they, these people don't know Jesus. But they, understand, they can see Paul and they go, okay. We're going to follow Paul orders now. Because obviously, we we tried going against Paul. And look at the wind came. Terrible storm. And now the ship has landed in an unrecognizable land. They don't know where this land is. But they see shore. And the the guard is about to ready to kill all the, to kill the prisoners. And... The, the, uh, let's see. The guard is about to kill, he's, he's about to kill the prisoners to prevent them from escaping onto the island. And the, 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 uh, and then Paul says no. Paul goes, so the, the captain says no, don't, don't kill him. He says, whoever could swim, go swim towards the island. So, they swam towards the island, 
and now they don't know where they're at. But 28 is really cool. It's one of my favorite chapters in the Bible because they land in Malta, and I went to Malta, and I'm Maltese, so this is so cool. So 28 is the next uh, chapter of Acts, and let's see what happens on the island of Malta. So here we go. Love you guys and God bless.